hi guys so welcome back to my youtube channel if you're meeting me for the first time i am judith of the judith affairs and if you're returning you know how we do it here you're welcome up so guys um today i just want to talk let's just talk i don't know i y'all are my friends yeah you all have got <laughs> yeah so i just came here so we could talk about anger you being angry let's just talk about anger issues yeah so i'm just going to talk to us about being angry and how to control your anger and all of that stuff but before we get right into the video yeah you know how you would get there you just have to subscribe okay please do not watch and just leave like no now subscribe mm -hmm. you can click on the notification bell so you could get notified whenever i post a new video and now let's just get right into the video so guys before we jump on how to control your anger or controlling anger whatsoever you just have to ask yourself what gets you angry what are those things that get you angry unlike me there are a whole lot of times what someone does to me might not actually get me angry and the little that they would even expect that it's really little and i might not just react to it are the actual major things that get me angry and when i get angry it will just burst <laughs> of course and then boom i become bitter boom I'm a bitter person. I'm a bitter girl. Yeah, she's a rude type. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And all of those stuffs. Yeah. You could get a name you're not. You could, you could attract a name that isn't you. That doesn't even define your personality. Anger, it's a very dangerous thing. Yeah, it is. So please, please be cool whatsoever you do i believe it can be sorted out when i get angry i do terrible things i do a whole lot of terrible things i can remember when i get angry just start breaking phones <laughs> okay we just start breaking phones and i just start breaking you get because i am angry and no one would be able to control me at that time it's actually funny but it's really bad i was scared for my future it shouldn't affect me it shouldn't it shouldn't just come it just, i don't know how to say this but it shouldn't just affect me because the little things you do that you feel do not matter is actually what matters and you just be enjoying one day in the future and boom it's facing you like face to face what would you do it's something you can run away from yeah so um i started praying about my anger i prayed i fasted but it wasn't as though it was sinking as if, as if something was changing in me it wasn't it wasn't as though god wasn't listening do you get God was waiting for me to make the right move. I never knew. I felt this is who I am. I shouldn't change me. This is how God created me and all of that. And I started listening after a year. After a year, I started listening to messages. I started um, reading Bible verses. I started praying. So do you get now listening to messages and attaching it with the word of god praying and fasting it worked magic it's just that my own anger thing hasn't really led me to kill somebody <laughs> of course i wouldn't like me uh no no <laughs> when do we, when when do we finish with cockroaches <laughs> flying ones <laughs> so please yeah so before you would react to anything one thing that has really let us down while we've been angry is we do not think before reacting 
yeah so 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 back then like i said i i just get angry and i'll just start spitting things and all of that sometimes i took decisions that broke me down at the end of the day and led to a very very big fight but that is not it that is not me i needed me i needed to be me i needed to do me that was why i just had to be serious about controlling my anger and then the first thing i learned was not to just react without thinking so anybody anytime would just get me angry and sometimes i would just be really angry and i would want to type and type and type trust me when when anybody should get me angry or whatsoever the next thing is they receive a bunch and bunch of messages from me like i can't type it is over blah 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 what 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 thank you for this but well i do not think to get that is you being angry and that is you reacting without thinking so the first thing first you should do is you should think always think before you take actions always think before you reply anybody that has gotten you angry always think before you speak yes and once you think before you speak you just have to calm down calm your nerves down think before you speak you do not even have to speak right there you walk away trust me it will help you just walk out walk away the person will be like are you working on me blah 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 blah, blah. please do not say anything please just walk away just leave just leave or if you think you're not in the right mind to just talk in peace walk away someone like me i i'll just walk away that was another thing i learned i just walk away because if i should start talking even after thinking i'll still i'll still tell you i'll still tell you what to get so you just walk away and then the next thing you do is once you come yeah so you just communicate communication helps a lot it mustn't be your boyfriend it mustn't be anybody close to you but once someone gets you angry and you feel this person really got to me i believe you communicate to that person and that is what i have learned to do over the years i learned to communicate so if you should just get me angry i won't start spitting rubbish to you and all of that i'll just have to calm myself down think and then i talk to you i can sit you down what you did i don't like it call you on the phone if you don't speak my calls i sent you a message i'll tell you i don't like this thing for the fact that i made a mistake it shouldn't be like that that is another vital way of communicating so you can just easily communicate to whosoever has wrong to you you mustn't just make it aggressively it should be peacefully communicate to whosoever has wronged you so you have a healthy conversation between the person that has wronged you so you know the motive behind them doing that to you a healthy conversation like why did you have to do this to me like communicate heart to heart with the person and the person will be like okay i'm sorry i thought you did this i thought i thought this is what you did i thought do you get the image of i thought to ruin things a lot so you just have to communicate with the person then have a healthy communication with the person that has wronged you so you get to know the motive behind them getting you angry please and um, please do not hold grudges please do not hold grudges grudges is out of the point do not hold grudges you would be thankful you never did you will be thankful you would be at peace with yourself your spirit will be full of love and life you will just love yourself do not hold grudges you know i used to say that anger is a punishment we give to ourselves for somebody else's mistakes yes that is actually true please do not hold grudges you could choose to walk away change your surrounding take a nap i'm very good at taking a nap when i'm angry when i'm angry but I just don't worry all the vibes will just go i'll just sleep 
and once i'm up whatsoever it is it's gone like let it just be bygone take a nap change your surroundings if possible you must necessarily travel just just leave that particular place that has got gotten you angry and all of that so just walk away get a quiet place and so you think it through look from the perspective of others so you do not just get into a fight with them some of them do not intentionally hurt you some of them were trying to protect your own interests and and because they lack how they will do this they end up getting you hurt and then you end up getting angry and fighting them so you try to look in their own perspective try communicating to them to know their motives that's when you try to look into their perspective for you knowing their motive behind whatsoever they did that's when you just have not to go into a fight with them trust me this will help once you're in your quiet time ask yourself why the whole situation arises why does it have to be this person why does it have to be now why does it have to be me why does it have to be this is how it went why does it have to be ask yourself those questions and if you do not have those answers that is when you need a healthy conversation with the person involved yo get to know the agenda behind whatsoever motive that it may be like i said earlier some may may have done it with a good intention but it ended up ruining things it's a mistake why get angry yeah <laughs> okay a lot of this happens here yeah, but we do not know yep we do not know that is why you need a healthy communication what makes you angry what really makes you angry and how do you control them once you ask yourself these questions and you get the right answers to these questions, trust me, it will help you solve a whole lot of fights, quarrels, and all of those stuff in the future with someone else. You will try your best to avoid anything that will get you pissed off. Like right now, I'm at a point in my life where I, I feel if I'm doing this and at the end of the day, you'll get me pissed. I won't do it at all. Or I I might just do it halfway and once you're just trying to get pissed to get me pissed or something then i am off it's not necessary that i get pissed with you it's not it's not okay that we'll be good today and tomorrow we act like strangers so if i feel not safe with you trust me i'll just keep it low for a while i'll just I'll just it's not necessarily i cut you totally from my life here yeah, but i'll keep it low our, our relationship will be on a low like we don't necessarily have to hang out the way we used to we don't necessarily have to talk the way we used to and let that particular moment slide let me feel light again let whatsoever i was being scared of leave and then we can be yep yeah and so one last one it is important you release your anger but then how you release it is what matters it is important to let someone know how you feel it is important to let them know that they have wronged you it is important to put some senses into their head but how you do it matters a whole lot you can just come and be like okay you can okay someone just get you angry and then you're all blabby you're paralyzed you're just you get but how you do it initially matters a whole lot like i said you could just calm yourself down and have a healthy conversation between you guys but for the fact that you just no 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 like no make i tell her i'm waiting in my mind at that time my mind will cool to get that has destroyed a whole lot of people yes and their relationships with people as well so please I'm not saying you shouldn't tell the other person how you feel or who has, whoever has wronged you how you feel, but you letting them know how you feel or yeah, what, what they actually did to you. So it might hurt you without realizing they did. But you telling them like the way you have that conversation matters a whole lot. Yeah, it is important. 
to tell people how you feel but how you tell them is important uh, please learn to communicate learn to have healthy communications with people so with this we've come to the end of this video so in the comment section down below you will tell me what makes you angry and how you control your anger like i said what works for me might not be what would work for you might not be your own tactics might not be what you use to control your anger so these are possible ways i have learned over the years and they've been really really helpful and that is why right now like i said <laughs> i'm not an angry bird you could do things to me to get me angry but uh, no 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 i do not get angry easily anymore trust me so tell me what you what gets you angry and how you control it you don't have to tell me everything but you let's talk that's why it's interactive section right yep so and if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up yo <laughs> give it a thumbs up do not forget to leave without subscribing L click on the notification bell so you could get notified whenever i post a new video see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>